So, welcome to this module and in this particular module we will see how the high pass filter can be designed using the operation amplifier. So, guys until now what we have seen we have seen how you can use operation amplifier for designing the low pass filter. So, and we have also seen what are the passive and active filters. So, when you talk about the, uh, the low pass uh, active filters what we have seen we have to use a amplifier and in this particular case in the last module what we have seen we have used the operation amplifier. Now, how we can design a uh, high pass active filter using operation amplifier that is the uh, uh, that is the thing that we have to learn in this particular module all right. So, uh, if you if you see the screen what you can find is that a high pass filter is a filter that significantly attenuates. So, if you can please uh, uh, show the screen please a high pass filter is a filter that significantly attenuates or rejects all the frequencies below F c below F c and pass passes all frequencies above F c ok. So, what is that filter? A filter is that all the frequencies below F c it will reject while above F c it will it will pass. So, what is that F c? F c is our critical frequency we have seen in the last lecture what is F c? F c is nothing but our critical frequency. So, now when we uh, here the main thing that you will see which is different than the low pass filter is the is the placement of the R and C right. In the low pass filter there was the resistance was here, the resistor was here and capacitor was in this particular place correct. In high pass filter we have capacitor followed by the resistors followed by the resistor. The pass band of a high pass filter is all frequencies above critical frequencies. So, now let us see what exactly a high pass filter is. So, if you see this particular plot what we find is that it will allow or it will allow frequencies which are above critical frequencies. In the last in the last module what we have seen we have seen low pass filter that means the frequency below critical frequencies were allowed to pass right band of frequencies below critical frequencies were allowed to pass while in case of high pass filter the band of frequencies above critical frequencies are allowed to pass right. So, this is the ideal response as you can see there is again a brick wall it is a ideal response exactly at F c it will stop the uh, frequencies right here this is a stop band and this is a pass band this is a stop band it is a pass band right. So, now if I draw a gain versus frequency gain versus frequency what I see is that I will have a plot like this I will have a plot which is which is exactly opposite to that of a low pass filter which is exactly opposite to the low pass filter. Now, what is the next again I can see the response of single pole you now know what is single pole we have discussed in the last module what does single pole means and what you mean by first order what do you mean by second order low pass filters and now we will see the high pass filters here single pole RC filter there is only one R one C you can generate a voltage across this resistor and then you can see that because it is single pole RC or first order RC filter it has a it has a roll off rate of 20 dB per decade it is a roll off rate of 20 dB per decade. If I have second order low pass uh, uh, second order high pass filter then I my roll off rate will be 40 dB third order uh, high pass filter my roll off rate would be 60 dB. So, as you increase the order you you reach your you reach your ideal response correct. Now, the critical frequency of a high pass RC filter occurs when when what is the formula formula is similar to your formula is similar to your low pass filter that is F c equals to 1 upon 2 pi R c right same same formula we have used for the low pass filter as well right. So, this is the critical frequency formula for active filter for the high pass filter and here X c equals to R can be calculated using the formula which is here which is given here ideally the response rises abruptly uh, at the critical frequency F l. Hmm. So, here critical frequency would be F l. Now, if I talk about active filter right active filter first order high pass. So, three things first is first order first order because 1 R 1 C then high pass because it will allow the high frequency to pass frequency which is above my critical frequency 
right wave frequency which is greater than magnetical frequency it will allow to pass frequency which are less than magnetical frequency it will stop right. So, this will be my stop band this will be my pass band correct. Then we have active filter active filter because we are using a non inverting amplifier we are using a non inverting amplifier. So, this we will all we will, will see in the experiment part also how we can design the inverting amplifier, how we can design a non inverting amplifier, how we can design integrator, how we can design differentiator, what is the role of ground, what is the role of loading effect we will see everything in the experimental section as well alright. So, if you see back uh, screen what you will see is like the previous active low pass filter the simplest form of active low high pass filter is to connect a standard inverting or non inverting operation amplifier to basic RC high pass active filter high pass passive filter. That means, that we have this passive filter and you are connecting this passive filter to either inverting or non inverting or unity gain amplifier right. If here the gain is 1, but if I want a higher gain I can use inverting or non inverting amplifier here we are using unity gain amplifier right. So, technically there is no such thing as an high active high pass filter unlike passive high pass filter uh, we ha which have an infinite frequency response the maximum pass band frequency response of active high pass filter is limited by open loop characteristics right we have seen or bandwidth or op amp being used. So, uh, uh, what what kind of high pass active filter we can design and and what will be the voltage gain in case of active power high pass active high pass filters. So, right what we have seen now is that we are using active high pass filter with unity gain amplifier right with unity gain amplifier here, but what if I want to amplify the signal then I need to use the uh, I have to use the inverting or non inverting amplifier here I am using a non inverting amplifier as you can see the output of the filter is fed to the non inverting terminal of the operation amplifier is not it correct. So, a first order a first order active high pass filter as it name applies as it name implies attenuates low frequencies and passes high frequency signal correct. It consists simply of a passive filter passive filter section followed by a non inverting operation amplifier. We have seen here this is a passive filter right and this is our non inverting op amp. The frequency response of the circuit is same of the act passive filter frequency response is same the formula would be F c equals to 1 upon 2 pi R c right except that the amplitude of the signal is increased by the gain of the amplifier. Hmm. Why because here we have a non inverting amplifier my d c gain would be nothing but 1 plus R 2 by R 1. Right. So, we can change the gain and that is why the symbolic representation of the signal at the input and the output we can see that the output is magnified version or amplified version of the input correct. So, what we have seen the, uh, the frequency response of the circuit is same as of passive filter however, the amplitude of signal is increased by the gain of the amplifier and for a non inverting amplifier the pass band voltage gain is 1 plus R 2 by R 1 we already talked about it and that is the same as for the low pass filter. The first order high pass filter consists of passive filter followed by non inverting amplifier it is shown here the frequency response of the circuit is same as that of passive filter right for in non inverting amplifier circuit the voltage gain for the filter is function of feedback resistor R 2 divided by R 1 voltage gain here is A f f by f c of under root of 1 plus f by f c whole square right. We have seen what is a f, a f is nothing but pass band gain formula is same which is same formula of a low pass filter. The only difference here is now we are uh, passing the signal through the capacitor and then it feds to the resistor earlier the, the signal were passing through the resistor and the capacitor was placed here in the low pass filter right that is only one difference which you will find in low pass and high pass active filters. These are very basic circuits of the operation amplifier. So, there should be no problem in understanding this kind of circuits super easy right super easy. F c is a cutoff frequency in hertz that we have seen earlier also. So, in this case uh, if I use this particular formula and if I see that at very low frequencies what will happen at very low frequencies my V out by V in will be extremely less than 
a f, but at f equals to f c I will have the similar uh, value 0 0.707, but at very high frequency my value would be equal to a f. So, then the active filter then the active filter the, so what does that mean from the from the equation that we have found what what we mean is that in the case of active filter uh, it has again a f that increases from 0 hertz to low frequency cutoff point right if you see the screen then you will understand better uh, that active filter has again a f that increases from 0 hertz to low frequency cutoff point and f c has a 20 db decade right a 20 decibel uh, per decade if I have to second order I will have 40 dB per decade, third order 60 dB per decade at F c equals to 0 0.707 A f this one right and after F c all frequencies are participant frequencies the filter has a constant gain of A f right. So, see uh, that means if I start plotting the graph what I will see is I will see that okay, it has plot like this right where this is my F c all frequencies above cutoff frequency that will be passed all frequencies below this cutoff frequency will be stopped. However, there is a roll off rate like I said and this is a single order then the roll off rate is of 20 dB per decade right. Okay. So, if I take an example if I take an example. So, if calculate the cutoff frequency or breakpoint frequency F c okay. So, F c formula we can directly write 1 upon 2 pi R c or 1 by 2 pi R c for a simple passive high, uh, passive high pass filter consisting of capacitor C equals to 1 microfarad ok. So, uh, and connected in series with 1 kilo ohm resistor I have value of R I have value of C. So, I can find the value of F C I can find value of F C right. So, my critical frequency or cutoff frequency F C is nothing but 1 by 2 pi R C which is equivalent to 159.15 hertz is equivalent to 159.15 hertz. So, this is how I can I can calculate the cutoff frequency of the high pass filter. Let us take another example design now you see you have to design ok design an underwriting active high pass filter such that gain equals to 2 low lower cutoff frequency or corner frequency is 2 kilohertz and capacitance of 79.5 nanofarad alright. These three things are there. So, first is gain equals to 2. So, I have gain equal to 2 right non inverting amplifier non inverting amplifier my gain is 1 plus r 2 by r 1 is given as 2. So, r 2 by r 1 will be equal to 1 right or r or r 2 will be equal to r 1 very easy right. Now, frequency frequency is given c is given. So, I can find r f equals to or f c equals to 1 upon 2 pi r c r is given f c is given uh, sorry here what is given c is given c is given f c is given then r equals to r will be 1 upon 2 pi f c into c I substitute the value and what I will have I will value have value of r. Now, I know the value of r I know that what should be r 2 and r 1 r 2 and r 1 should be equal to 1 or R 2 should be equal to R 1. So, I can design R 2 R 1 I know the capacitor I found the value of resistors thus I can design this particular circuit which is shown here which is shown at the bottom right which is this particular circuit right I can design this circuit given this particular values which is the value of a gain value of the cutoff corner frequency and the value of the capacitance. So, if I am given this uh, values and if I am uh, if I have to find the value if I have to design the circuit that is my high pass active filter I can design by using this particular values or if I am given a circuit I can design my high pass filter both the ways I can do it. So, let us see one more uh, example calculate cutoff frequency and, and the pass band gain of filter shown in the figure. So, suppose you are given this figure right. So, what is this figure this is nothing but my this is nothing but my high pass active filter right high pass active filter. Now, what I have to find I have to find the I have to find the cutoff frequency that means, I have to find F c right F c is 1 upon 2 pi R c ok. Now, R 1 is given R 2 is given C is given right. So, I can write down 1 by 2 pi 
into 10 k into 0 0.1 microfarad. This will be nothing but 159.15 hertz, right. So, F c is nothing but 159.15 hertz, correct. So, now I know what is my critical frequency, I can calculate my critical frequency using this particular formula. What is the next question? Next question is for a pass pen gain of 10, that is I have a gain of 10, right. So, here it will be R 2 by R 1 equals to 10, right. Why? Because it is an inverting amplifier, it is a inverting amplifier. So, R 2 by R 1 equals to 10 or, or R 2 would be equal to 10 times R 1, right. So, if I take R 1 equals to 10, R 2 would be 100 kilo ohm, easy, super easy, right. Super easy to design or to calculate the cutoff frequency given the circuit, right. So, now we have seen if we are given the value, we can design the circuit. If the circuit is there, we can find the values. Circuit is there, we can find the values, right. So, what we have seen in this particular module, what we have seen that we can design an active uh, filter, we can design an active filter using the operational amplifier. And then, if you are given a circuit, then you can find the values of the resistor capacitors or frequency and or if you are given the values, you can design the circuit which is this particular problem, which is the problem in front of you, right. So, now the point is that with the operation amplifier, with the operation amplifier, we can design filters, with the operation amplifier, we can design filters that can allow a certain band of frequency to pass and certain band of frequency to stop, right. So, we have seen in this particular module high pass filters. We have seen high pass filters. The main difference between high pass and low pass filters that you guys have to remember is that in a high pass filter, the capacitor is at the starting and the resistor is next. In the low pass filter, we feed the value to resistor and then to capacitor, right. So, the signal, signal goes to the resistor and then it goes to the capacitor, but in the uh, high pass filter, it is opposite of that. All right. So, we have seen low pass, we have seen high pass. Now, in the next module, we will see how the band pass filter works and in the following module, we will also see how the band reject filter works. So, that is the main four filters that we have uh, talked about, right. Low pass, high pass, band pass and band reject, all right. So, let us see in the next class, how we can design a band pass filter using an operational amplifier, how we can design a band pass filter using operational amplifier. Till then you, you solve this kind of questions like what I have shown it to you. There are millions of questions that is available uh, online. Uh, try to solve few more questions and you will get a better idea, right. So, we will start, we are starting at the very basic level where you are you are asked to find the uh, formula of a, of a cutoff frequency, right, where given everything is given. So, there should be no mistake in this, right, or if or if for the given values of uh, uh, resistors or capacitor or critical frequency, how you can design the circuit. So, it is it is really really simple, all right. We are at very very basic stage. So, you should not be able to, uh, you should not commit any mistake in designing such a simple circuits, all right. Now, one more uh, point that I wanted to tell you is that when some sometimes you are asked that uh, design a uh, 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 high cut filters, high cut active filters. So, uh, uh, what I have seen that when you are asked high cut active filters, uh, uh, high cut is low pass, right, it is cutting high frequency, it is not high pass. So, when you are given this kind of problem, just read it thoroughly. Is it high cut? Is it low cut? Is it high pass? Is it low pass? What does that mean? Low pass and high cut, same. High pass, low cut, same, right. So, uh, understand this uh, when you when you are given a problem, read it thoroughly. When you are asked a question, understand, listen the question carefully, then you respond. All right. Listen carefully everything, then only you respond. That will help you not only in your exams, that will help you also in your interviews. All right. So, I will catch you in the next class, uh, next particular module and we will see how the op-amp circuits can be used as a band pass filter. Till then you take care.